Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies PLTR stock, and we will be going over their latest news updates, upcoming catalysts, their approaching earnings report, as well as what we can think of this overall stock and company concerning whether or not we should buy or sell this company. So in this video, we will be analyzing three articles to where the first one is titled PLTR Stock Alert. Palantir announces new celebrity partnership, which is fantastic news for Palantir Technologies from a public relations standpoint. It's also very good marketing on their part. Next, we'll briefly touch on the amount of deals that they closed during quarter one and what we could anticipate in quarter two. And this should invigorate investors to either buy or hold a Palantir Technologies. And then lastly, we'll go over another article pertaining to why Palantir Technologies may be a better buying opportunity in the future than it is right now. So for more news updates on Palantir Technologies or stock market news updates on other stocks, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to become a member of this channel to support me personally for as little as 99 cents because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. However, if you can't afford 99 cents per month, don't worry about it. By subscribing, you will receive this content for absolutely free. But with that being said, I say let's jump right into today's stories. Palantir Technologies, as you already probably know, is a big data and analytics company that serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. The company also specializes in artificial intelligence and machine learning, and they're trading for around $15 right now. Now, on the lower end of price targets, we see that some analysts believe this company could be worth as low as $5 over the next 12 months, meaning that there is a lot of downside for this stock. However, the more bullish positive analysts believe this company could go up to $18, and we'll discuss exactly why that is in this video regarding why analysts radically disagree with one another. Palantir Technology stock, ticker symbol PLTR, or also known as PLTR stock, has been trending on social media lately due to their announcement that they would partner with a Ukrainian tennis star. This female Ukrainian tennis player is the same person who won the country's first Olympic medal in tennis for the country of Ukraine. And Palantir stated that the arrangement, and I quote, deepens Palantir's commitment to supporting Ukraine and its ongoing efforts to resettle refugees, document work crimes and facilitate additional reconstruction projects, end quote. So just starting off, I think this is a phenomenal public relations or PR move for Palantir Technologies. It gets people talking about Palantir Technologies, they are blowing up on social media, and it also looks really good for Palantir Technologies considering all of the positive things that they are doing over in Ukraine. On top of that, Palantir also added that its sponsorship of this Ukrainian female tennis player will support her foundation. And her organization essentially assists young Ukrainian tennis players and their families to relocate them somewhere else in Europe away from the war so they can be trained in various academies and have a safe place to live during the meantime while achieving and striving after their tennis dreams. So again, this is a very good marketing on Palantir Technologies part, and it has gotten more investors talking about this company due to their prominent presence on social media, especially after this positive news catalyst. We also saw that Raymond James downgraded Palantir's rating from their PLTR stock price from a strong buy rating down to an outperform rating. However, they did end up raising their price target and price prediction for this company from $15 per share up to $18 per share, which is very positive. Raymond James specifically expects Palantir's fundamentals to do very well, especially as the company continues to use their artificial intelligence, which is what has caused their rally in the first place. Likewise, Bank of America also expressed positivity and bullishness regarding PLTR stock saying that the firm is in a unique position to exploit artificial intelligence technology as well as machine learning. And this is going to be a huge competitive advantage for Palantir Technologies going forward. And just like Raymond James, Bank of America increased their overall price forecast for this company from $13 up to $18 according to their own analysis. So this is very positive news for Palantir shareholders. So it's really good to see how multiple financial institutions are actually gravitating toward that $18 price target more than that lower $5 price target. And another reason for this is going to be their upcoming earnings report. So if we look at their quarter one report, we saw that Palantir closed around 64 deals, with 22 deals being at least $5 million and eight of these deals being around $10 million, while the 64 deals meet the criteria of at least $1 million. So it really shows that Palantir is continuously landing major clients for millions and millions of dollars. This is a huge deal. And although their overall technology is rather 
rather expensive, there is no other firm that can compete with Palantir Technologies, giving them not only a first mover advantage, but also a technological advantage, which is why investors are so bullish and positive on this company. Now, if you know me, we're going to be analyzing an article by a stock reporter that I do not always see eye to eye with. However, I would agree with his analysis on Palantir Technologies for now. He starts the article by saying that the artificial intelligence market is super hot right now, and that has benefited Palantir Technologies stock by a huge margin. Because the increase in the adoption of artificial intelligence as well as machine learning applications has increased not only the awareness of companies like Palantir Technologies to investors, but it also has encouraged people to actually invest money into these companies like Palantir and NVIDIA. And that's why Palantir Technologies has experienced their phenomenal rebound in their overall share price, which we predicted many years ago in a previous video saying that the company was extremely undervalued at the time. However, now we somewhat have the opposite problem because I think that investors should not necessarily chase the share price of this company upwards because they could be buying this company at a very expensive premium. So I would rather wait for this company to pull back a little bit, become cheaper, then invest into the company and then wait for it to go back up because naturally stocks are very volatile and they go up and down pretty frequently. And I think we could get this price action as their next quarter earnings release, which is scheduled for August 8th, draws even closer. Palantir stock is currently holding steady at just above $15 per share. And now the question remains, can Palantir technology stock hold this overall price? And honestly, that is going to be determinant on whether or not the company is going to have a positive or negative earnings release concerning their overall revenue and their earnings per share. Last quarter, they had very strong results, which is why sell-side analysts have recently raised their overall forecasts, price estimates, and predictions for the current quarter. Now, this is overall very bullish good news when we see analysts readjusting their overall revenue predictions and earnings per share predictions to higher estimates, meaning that Palantir was set to beat their old expectations, but now since expectations have been raised again, it's going to be harder for them to beat that. So this is somewhat of a positive and and negative update, but in general, I would say that it's very positive how sell-side analysts have increased their overall forecasts, leading to more bullishness. Now, the silver lining of if the artificial intelligence hype is a bubble or not, because let's take the worst case scenario. Let's say artificial intelligence is a bubble right now and it pops or starts to deflate. So if this happens, you're going to see companies like C3.ai or Palantir Technologies or even NVIDIA pull back in their overall share price. But this is not bad news. If this happened and any stock that benefited from the artificial intelligence bubble, because again, we're assuming it's a bubble here, starts to pop or deflate, their share prices are naturally going to decrease, giving us a better buying opportunity. And I also want to say that even if the bubble pops, if it is a bubble, in fact, that doesn't mean that the underlying trend or fundamentals of these companies are bad. It just means that instead of them trading at premiums, we can now get them at discounted prices, meaning that the future of this company is going to be phenomenal for investors who are willing to hold the company for the long term. In the case of Palantir Technologies, I think it's a win-win either way. If artificial intelligence is not a bubble and it's not all hype, then we can see Palantir Technologies continuously cruise upwards in their overall share price, revenue, and earnings per share. Now, on the flip side, if artificial intelligence is a bubble and it pops or it starts to deflate and Palantir Technologies decreases in price from people prematurely liquidating and selling Palantir Technologies and other artificial intelligence shares, it gives us as investors who are smart wise investors to buy this company at a bigger discount because according to the fundamentals of this company, it will bounce back in price. So even if we do undergo a pullback, Palantir shares could still rise significantly in value over the long term. And I would always advocate for a long-term investing strategy for companies like Palantir Technologies. And I would also advocate to practice proper risk management, which is why I never overexpose myself more than a 5% initial portfolio allocation to any singular risky growth company because anything over a 5% allocation would be improper risk management. So now let's take a look at these accounting ratios, which tells us that Palantir is richly overvalued and trading at a premium right now, meaning that investors may not want to buy this stock at these very high prices. Palantir right now is trading at around 72 times their forward earnings, which is very high. Now, some investors are more comfortable with companies trading at around 15 times earnings. However, let me tell you, I don't think Palantir is going to go that low, and I don't 
think it should go that low because it should be based off of its future projections and not their current valuations considering that this company is a growth stock. So I would disagree adamantly with this author on this point that there's no way I'm going to wait for the company to drop to around 15 times earnings. I think it's more realistic to buy the company at around 40 times earnings or even 50 times their forward earnings considering that their future growth potential is absolutely astounding. So for me personally, I wouldn't advocate to sell this company or necessarily buy this company, but holding this company to see what the company does over the short term could lead to major future gains. Because right now, we're trying to see whether or not the bubble is going to pop or if it's going to trend higher. That's why at the end of the day, overall, Palantir has had very good news updates. They have the approaching catalyst of their earnings report, and they are even rated a B rating on Portfolio Grader. So overall, I would say this is a very good news update for Palantir Technologies, and we're just going to have to wait and see, which is why I'm saying to hold this company as of right now. There's no way I'm going to sell this company as of right now because they could be positioning themselves to trend even higher. However, the opposite is also true. If artificial intelligence is in fact a bubble and it starts to pop or deflate, I'm going to wait for the company to drop lower and the company to pull back in their overall share price. I'm going to buy it at that low price and then wait for it to trend back upwards due to the company's very strong fundamentals. They also have a very impressive balance sheet, essentially no debt, and the future of this company is very positive considering that they are gap profitable and they are anticipated to finish the year entirely gap profitable, which is astounding news for investors. So for more news updates on Palantir Technologies, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to become a member of this channel to support me personally because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.